And how do you find that out if you're not the right agent for someone? You feel it? Or what, Paul? You listening to him, Colette? You listening to him, find out, I'm not for you. But I have someone that can probably help you out, though. That's even better. If you got someone that can, can you transfer it? You may not be the best. You know, it's enough money out there for everybody, believe it or not. It's enough business out there for everybody. That's why I don't mind working with other real mortgage lenders. What does, I don't have that. What do you have? Okay, cool. You know what? I have somebody for you. But if you're that person that's wanting to say, this is how, not the phone what I'm saying. This is how I do it, highway or byway. And I'll, but if she's have this is how I do it, but I may not do it the way you do, I have someone that can actually help you over here that can do that. You know how much more of a person you're gonna win from that? More people you're gonna win from that? She's gonna say, hey, I couldn't do it that way. She introduced me to someone else. Let me connect you with my cousin, who's a first time home buyer. It's just a small thing. So in, in helping you out and your idea about how you find your tribe, it really just come down to what did you, what can you do better than everybody else? Can you answer the phone? It's a simple thing these days. Can you meet a person in person and say, hey, I'm old school. I like to meet people in person. Boom, here we go. I've gotten deals in business. I got you. I got deals in business because of the fact I just called somebody back. Oh my God, you called me back. Don't everybody call you back? No. You ain't you a real estate agent? Yes. And since I called them back, now they send me more business because I call them back. What can you do different than everyone else not doing? And it's sometimes the simplest things. Calling somebody back. 